Hey guys, Fox here. Got some game gods that I've picked up over the last month or so. Thought I'd go ahead and start sharing them because they're piling up. So first up, I went ahead and picked up the new Hyperkin Retron SQ. So this guy is a little console. I think it's an emulator console, much like the Retron 5. So I think it just burns the ROM um, into the RAM and that's how it plays it. I'm not 100% sure on it. That's what it feels like and that's what it pretty much seems like it's doing. Um, this plays original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance, kind of. <laughs> the game, original Game Boy and Game Boy Color seem to play fine. They're playable to me. Um, and this outputs uh, HDMI here. And it's got a switch back there for 4x3 or 16x9. And it's got the little micro SD card there for firmware updates, which is something you really need to do when you first get one of these. Uh, this uh, is pretty much non-playable for Game Boy Advance if you do not update the firmware. I updated the firmware and the Game Boy Advance games are now playable, but they're not good, if you know what I mean. Uh, the frame rates still kind of stink with them, uh, but from what I could tell, Game Boy and Game Boy Color play pretty well on it, uh, as far as I can see. Um, and it came with a uh, Super Nintendo style controller, which is fine. I'm not sure why, particularly because none of those systems had four face buttons. <laughs> Uh, the Advance did have the shoulder buttons though. Uh, but overall though, the build quality of this controller is actually pretty good. It feels great. I, I like it a lot. Um, this is actually a really good controller that it came with. So it, it's fun. It's great to uh, play my games on the TV, on a high def TV, uh, just fine. Um, especially with the analog pocket being delayed. But uh, yeah, good times. To go along with that, I have a few Game Boy games here. First, I have the Page Master. And I have Atomic Punk. And lastly, picked up a copy of Out of Gas. Pretty cool. I haven't played any of them yet, so I don't have a lot to say about them yet. <laughs> uh, I think I played the... Uh, NES version of the Page Master um, when I was a kid. I really don't remember much of it though, but uh, I think I'll have fun with it. So up next is something that is a, um, I don't know what you call it. Not like a bootleg card, but it's a modified hack of a game. So let me just go ahead and show it. So it's super tech mobile, and this is the 2021 version uh, featuring the Super Bowl champions, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's that's my team, if you guys couldn't tell from previous videos. So anyway, I went ahead and picked this up. It's uh, done by uh, Retro Games here, and it has the Goji um, uh, updates to the original Tecmo Super Bowl. So it changes to all the rosters for every team. Um, it improves some of the, you know, flickering effects that happened with the original game. Uh, they've added certain uh, other things to the, the updates to the game. Uh, stuff like that to kind of reflect the modern rules of the uh, NFL. So. Um, I'm looking forward to popping this in and play it because I play my old one all the time, but it's going to be a lot of fun to actually play this game um, with uh, the current rosters and stats of the uh, teams. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And an interesting thing it says down there, no Nintendo games were harmed in my creation, donor free. So these are, I guess, recreated NES carts and boards and everything. So. Cool. All right, it's time to flash through some of these a little quicker. So up next, I pick up another NES cart. This one's legit though. And it's the uh, Gauntlet the, from a uh, 10 game cart. 
This is one I've been wanting to add to the collection for a while now. It's not expensive by any means or anything like that, but it's something I played a lot when I was a kid, so I kind of wanted to have that card. Up next, I picked up a copy of Act Razor. Um, it's not a pretty card. You can tell the remnants of a Blockbuster sticker over here. Label damage, all that stuff. So I got it for a pretty decent price. Uh, I think I paid 25 bucks for it. So it's been one I wanted to add to the collection for a while. Up next is actually related to the uh, Tecmo Super Bowl. And it's the only Tecmo Super Bowl that I've been missing in my collection. And that's Tecmo Super Bowl II. Uh, this is a rare uh, cart. This was very limited. I think it only, only 15,000 copies were made. So when I saw this at my local retro store, I was like, I have to have that. I want that in the collection. I love Tecmo Super Bowl. I got an upgrade here. Um, of Radiata Stories for the PS2. Um, I had a disc only copy in a cheesy old GameStop game case. So I'm happy to get a full case and manual. So this is complete now, finally, for my collection. This is actually a pretty fun um, RPG. Uh, Switch games, quite a few of them actually. I finally picked up a copy of Bioshock the Collection for the Switch. Yes, I know. I have every other release of this. I'm not sure why I didn't pick up the Switch one when it came out. Probably because I really didn't like much of that. Um, as a matter of fact, most of it is that. Um, you have to download 31 gigabytes worth of information, which is pretty much a, a good chunk of it. I think it's... <laughs> I forgot which game is actually on the cart. It's either one or infinite and then you pretty much download the other two. Yeah, that sucks because they're not actually on a cartridge. Uh, maybe later they'll actually release one that those games are on a cart. Maybe it's too big, I don't know, but regardless, it is pretty cool to play Bioshock on the go. Uh, originally, Bioshock was supposed to get a port to the Vita before Irrational Games uh, shut its doors, but uh, Unfortunately, never got that, so this will do for now. And uh, I hear that a fourth Bioshock is actually in the works um, over at uh, 2K or Take Two is doing it. I don't know what company's doing it, but we haven't really heard any information on it. So, but it's being worked. I picked up my Switch version of Trails of Cold Steel 4. Um, I have every release for this series, which I love this series. It's excellent. Some people don't care for it because it's a little on the slow side. I understand. Um, but I absolutely love it. Up next is a strictly limited release, and it's Coffee Talk. I thought this game looked pretty interesting. Uh, it's one of those games I was just going to roll the dice on to play. It looks like a nice um, gap filler game. You know, something I'll play between uh, my big uh, RPGs that I tend to play. So I think this is going to kind of remind me of what you're doing with in Valhalla. So it's probably pretty much close to the same thing. I have a few limited run releases here. First up is the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics. This is pretty cool. So this was a game that was developed uh, pretty much alongside that TV series that was released. Was that on Netflix? I can't quite remember, but whatever. It's a strategy RPG, so it's a tactic game. And I do enjoy those. Yep, Netflix. <laughs> I think I've ever seen that on a game before. But cool. Next two are the first two Shantae releases that um, Limited Run decided to give us a physical edition of. I liked how they uh, Game Boy colored the, their logo there down in the corner. That's, that's a nice touch. I just noticed that. Um, I've never played the original Shantae. Always wanted to. Don't really dive into emulators. 
and the Game Boy Color cart is pretty much out of the price range for most folk. So this is nice to get this um, redone, a little bit of a remaster and re-released. Now you can definitely get this on the eShop for sure, I know that, so. Um, and I don't know if they sell the limited run sells their Shantae's at the Best Buys or not. I know a lot of limited run games go out there, but not all of them, that's for sure. And of course the other one, and that's Risky's Revenge. I think this one was a, a, D, a download game on the DS, mm, I think, don't quote me on that. But I think it's the only one I'm missing, so I think I have every Shantae game physical now. I'm pretty sure that's it. There are five of them, Shantae, Risky's Revenge, Pirate's Curse, Half Genie Hero, and Seven Sirens Sailor. Yeah, I think so. But yeah. All the Shantae games. Can't go away to go on a Shantae run. Here's the card for the first Shantae. It's kind of neat. They just took the graphics from Game Boy Color there for their card. And here's Risky's Revenge. All right, we got some. Oh, let's do this. This one fell at the bottom of the pile. Another NES game that I found complete that I did not have in my collection complete. I think I had it loose, so. I'm gonna have to add that to the trade pile. But anyways, Tecmo Bowl. Can you tell I was on a real big Tecmo Bowl, super Tecmo Bowl kick this last month? I certainly was. I got one more thing that's referencing it too. Um, but yeah, so this is the, you know, the arcade port, which I actually think the um, NES version is better than the arcade, in my opinion. I enjoy it more. So this is complete and Heck yes, I remember playing this a lot until Super Techno Bowl came out. And that got played for hundreds and hundreds of hours as a kid. So with that being said, I also picked up a very cheap Nintendo Power. Yes, quite beat up. This one features uh, uh, Castlevania 4, Super Castlevania, on the cover. But let me go ahead and find the pages that I'm looking for. There's a reason I got this one. Bear with me a second as I flip, which I should have put. Oh, there it is. I got this one because it had the Tecmo Super Bowl articles in it. And it's got a full two, two page spread talking about Super Tecmo Bowl, or Tecmo Super Bowl rather, coming out for the NES. So I thought that was cool to have that piece since I'm such a big fan of the series. I really wish it would come back one day. But we highly doubt it with EA hogging the license. Maybe that'll go away one day. All right, PS4 games. I finally picked up a copy of Tokyo Xanadu. This is the EX Plus version. Um, this is a Falcom game, kind of similar to, you know, your Trails of Cold Steel. This is where school age life, you know, popular JRPG trope that likes to be played, but I hear this is excellent. So I think it's right up my alley. And I think I will enjoy it quite a bit. When will I play it? Who knows? Um, we got a limited run release here. Two of them. Kimco RPGs. Average at best usually, but I find them charming and fun nonetheless. Uh, first one is As Divine Menace. I always like their artwork that Kimco does for these games, and they're usually made with a variation of some kind of RPG maker. But they make them fairly well for what they are. They're usually pretty enjoyable. The stories are mediocre, but they're, they're coherent. And I also got Monochrome Order. Thank you for Limited Run. What's funny about Limited Run when they release these Kemco RPGs, they're actually their old school style where they're just very limited. They print like maybe, mm, I don't know, let's, let's say for example, like 5,000 copies. So they only release them twice in one day and that's all they print for these Kemco RPGs. So I try to pick them up. They're not very expensive. And of course you can download these all in various locations. So they're, they're not hard to play or find. It's just those physical copies, and I 
think one just got released and I missed it, so. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, here's a couple cards for limited run. Here's one for uh, uh, Dark Crystal. Also picked up a copy of It Takes Two. I was watching Leo the Funny Nerd play this a bit and it convinced me to go ahead and pick it up. Now, I know you can uh, right here, friends join online co-op for free, so only one person actually needs a copy of the game. And uh, the other person can join in remotely. So, I'm definitely gonna play this. I'm gonna try to convince the wife to go ahead and play this with me. We can take our time and just enjoy it. It has to be played co-op, so. Um, definitely going to give it a whirl. If she's not interested, I'm sure I'll find some. Um, ah, Evercade released a couple games. Um, one I'm kind of like meh about, and the other one I'm actually pretty excited about. So the, first, the meh one is the uh, Pico Collection 2. Not a lot of terribly great games on here that anybody will really recognize, but uh, it's some of their sports titles. Um, but I'll pop the cart in there and give it a shot. Uh, Evercade also announced a home console version of their system, the VS, I believe. And you can pop in two cartridges in there, so if you just want to, for whatever reason, leave, you know, pick from two different carts at the same time, I guess that's an option. Uh, <laughs> yeah, whatever. As long as the, but the cartridges work for both uh, the handheld system and that one, so it's pretty cool. Up next is the Jalco collection. Now this one is gonna be pretty cool. I have a lot of fond memories of playing a lot of Jalco games, especially on the NES, like Bases Loaded and Asteniax. Uh Played some City Connection 2, got the original Earth Defense Force on there. Totally rad, which is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, Rival Turf was fun. Logic Bomb's pretty decent too, so this one has a fair amount of good titles on it. All right, we're done with the games. I got some other random stuff here. Um, I picked up another Switch Lite as my son pretty much owns my Switch Lite now. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. So I went ahead and picked up a color I don't have and that's the uh, turquoise one. I know the blue one's coming out pretty soon and knowing me, I'll probably pick that up as well because damn you Nintendo and your color variants and having so much fun easy wanting to collect them. I have that problem with all their systems. I have like 12 or 13 3DSs, a lot of gameplays. You guys know, I just collect a little too much. Um, picked up the Banjo-Kazooie Amiibo. Um, there was a Terry one and uh, was it Bailiff that was released. And I think the female Bailiff is really hard to find. Terry's pretty hard to find as well. Uh, but I don't really need those ones. I kind of want Banjo-Kazooie just because, I mean, he's pretty much video game history at this point. So I think he'll look good all high up on the shelf. Um, during the last bits of Nintendo's 35th anniversary for Super Mario Bros, I went on their online store and picked up some pins, um, as I love Penny Arcade pins. So they made a bunch for the 35th anniversary. Uh, so here's some pins for Super Mario Bros. And here's some for Super Mario Bros 2. And lastly, we have Super Mario Bros 3. They had pins for like pretty much every game. They had Super Mario World, which I was tempted to get, but these aren't necessarily cheap. And so, I just wanted these three for, I think they're about 15 bucks a pack of pins. It's pretty, pretty pricey, honestly, but, and I mean, they had them for Galaxy and Sunshine, 64, all that stuff too. All right, lastly, I've got some old uh, movie related stuff and TV shows. Um, I found these out at a single Goodwill, so <laughs> lucky me. So up first, I have a VHS copy of Super Mario Bros. The Movie, 
with Bob Haskins, John Leguizamo, Dennis Hopper. Um, I remember watching this movie as a kid, not really correlating <laughs> the game much to this movie, but uh, it was a pretty interesting uh, um, artistic take on Super Mario Bros. Um, well, it's, it's not a horrible movie, but it, it was fun. And it's fun as this one has uh, some blockbuster stickers on it. So there's some nostalgia for you. And up next, I got Street Fighter, the movie, on VHS as well. And yes, I do have a couple working VHS, um, VCRs rather, that work. So you never know, I might pop these in and relive the old times of watching analog movies. And I found all these sealed. It's pretty ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> so I have Super Mario Bros. Super Mario World, the complete series, this is the animation. Yeah. Sealed. Uh, mind you, I think I paid a buck for the, uh, for the uh, VHSs, and these DVDs were like two bucks a piece, so. Um, pretty awesome. And here's uh, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Who remembers this? Do the Mario! <laughs> and volume two of the super show. So there you have it guys. All the game guts, pickups, what have you for the last month. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.